Well, hello everyone. Welcome and hello. This is going to be my Story Wild Collection playthrough, part 48, I believe. And we're over, over, over here. We're over at Watts Consumer Electronics. And so right now, we're headed to do We the People. We're going to steal these explosives from the Raiders over at Hyde Park. Or Park Hill, sorry. Hill Park, Prospect Hill. That's where we're headed right now. I got my lovely saw with me. This is the outfit. Oh, Jesus. That was a long ass reload. It was not planned. I don't know if. This is, what is this? This is, uh. Like I'm a child of Adam, aren't I? Hmm. It's, uh. I, I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I do kind of like it. But let's see what we have for armor. Do we have anything better? What about this Banshee Recon? What's that look like? Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Is this what the men's version looks like? This is like reminds me of that like meme about like men's armor and women's armor in, in like Skyrim. It's like this huge ass, big ass metal chain link, you know, chain mail with armor pieces. And then the women's ones like a chain, a chain mail bikini. And it's like, oh, same damage absorption. Okay, so that's not the one we want. I don't think that really looks that good anyways. To me personally. I much rather like the, uh, what is it, the Adam Girl? Desert Ranger Helmet. What about this Rebel of the Apocalypse? What? This is armor? I mean... Not bad, doesn't really go with my helmet, but it's kind of cool. What's up with the jeans though? Little jean short shorts with leggings over it. The custom piece right there. What about, what about this? Wasteland Militia. I like need to stand this way. Hmm. It's all right. I mean, that looks pretty good. Get rid of this helmet, though. Okay. Ah, that covers your whole head, doesn't it? <laughs> there we go. What we got here? Not too bad. Oh, my God. Now I kind of look like a maniac. Yeah, let's do it. I like that my hair is actually covered, because I have, like, puffy hair. Can do this. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Who's this? Ada? No, it's not time for the Ada quests. We'll be back for you later, Ada. Just leave a couple. We. My sisters are eager to absorb new data. Pretty close. Don't move. Dad, 
idea. It's all right. Oh, get out of the way. Why are you in front of me? Yeah, your head. What do you mean something's broken? Something's broken. Yeah, I think it's your face. Oh, hello. Oh my god, what was that? You do not want to go chainsaw. We can do this. Don't you die on me! Shouldn't have, you shouldn't have broke out the chainsaw. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Who's shooting me right now? Holy shit, there's a lot of raiders out there. Let's go, it's time to die. How are you still alive? I'm like, you can't be nothing but a burnt corpse. <laughs> Did not make sense. You could not take a flamethrower like that. There's still more. Hello. Are we serious right now? How did the flamethrower not even... It didn't even phase him. Did that say Bozo Mask? Dude, this Bozo Mask is... Um... Okay. I guess it kind of... It's in with the other one? The hell? What is the other one? There it is. Now we can see it. Oh, okay. I mean, that kind of looks like a, a theme. What did he have right now? Chance to stagger on hit. No, we don't need that. So were there extra ones because we were defending Hangman's Alley too, or what? Hey, what's up, Moon Wolf Hunter? Welcome to the stream. Here we go. Uranium. Oh crap, we got the nukes. We're gonna nuke these people. Oh shit! Where'd you come from? Where are you? This thing like has no kickback. that not kill them? Two of them in a row. Doesn't even make sense. Are you hiding in here? I was like, I think that one hit him in the head.
was an end to the music as I turned it down a little tiny bit. I honestly don't think that had an effect though. It didn't sound any lower as I was lowering it. Alright, so we got their uranium. Now what do we gotta bring it? Back to the... Oh. Oh yeah, we're blowing up the gunners. So, um, uh, Moonwolf, I don't know. What do you go by? Wolf Hunter? Which one would you rather be called? Or just Hunter? But, uh, so we're in the middle of doing depravity and we're gonna be blowing up the Gunners Plaza. So we just got the, we just got the nukes and now we gotta, I guess we gotta go kill the Gunners and blow up the plaza. This is gonna be awesome. <clears throat> so this is the quest they were saying that was broken. This quest was broken like in the beginning when they first made this collection because of Sim Settlements make some kind of change to Gunners Plaza. Moonwolf, okay, perfect. So that was why I was delaying doing this, the depravity mod. Well, I got stuck in the beginning and then I just came back to it once they did a couple revisions. We've done basically everything else. I've played this game, I'm probably on the fifth day in game. Something like that, right? What does it say? Yeah, almost, we're almost there. Oh, how far away is this place actually? Anything left to upgrade? Oh yeah, Mr. Sandman. No. Is that really that far away? Oh yeah. What is this place? Why do I not remember this place? It looks like a new... It's in pink, too. Or oh, whatever the color that is. We'll go to the station. It's close enough. Oh yeah, so this other YouTuber, um, his name is, it's Urge, but it's, he's got like a, a, a zero in front of Urge and then another zero after it, but I made a, what is it? I made a Fallout 4, oh, hello, what are they even doing here? Yeah, he made up of one of my other videos. He took my voice from oh, he just took my voice from my playthrough and used it for his main character in his video that he made. Was he guys gonna explode? Kind of seemed that way. All right, so we're heading so. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the place. What what is this place? Who's that? See, this is definitely new. I never seen this. What's this? Hmm. Let's do this. To who? Oh shit. Okay. Oh, some sting wings? No, it's a blood bug. Flip its wings. Why was it green? There's a good mosquito. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Okay, so is this the guy, Michael Scott? <clears throat> you know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. Nope. He's not the guy to talk to. 
What about this guy? Hey, buddy. What's up, Chris King? Hey there. Hope you ain't one of them since you had a spy on me. Oh. How did none of you have anything to say? Hey. Huh? And they're all named. Every single one of them has a name. But they don't want anything to do with me. Which is kind of weird. Who are you? <clears throat> if you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Well, give me a damn job then. Can't say that shit and then not add anything after. Like, we need help. Is this well, Sunnyson? This Rumble Balcom is very confusing. Gary, don't worry about it. We're gonna get you a body. Even if I have to steal it. We gotta shut off this other one. The one who knocks. That one is part of Depravity too, but it's basically just a mission to take out all the Raider gangs. So it's like a cleanup mission. Oh, what is that? Oh, heavy gunner, look at him. Let's get the uh get the rifle out. <laughs> oh my god. How did that fail, dude? Screw you, Powerama. This is a Barrett's. 50 cal. Oh, they're coming. I don't see this yet, but... I'm guessing they're coming from over here, maybe? Oh, no. Who is doing that over there? What's going on over there? I have the nukes. What are people blowing cars up? Oh, they didn't come out. They're still hauled up in there. Alright. Everything's normal. That guy just, you know, he just went for a ride. I don't know. You guys don't know what happened. What's up? A stray bullet. Where are these guys? There's one. Headshot. Ooh, lock and load. Just missing his head. Did you see the blood squirt? Hey. I'll get all this stuff right from here. Where he keeps all this is a stash box. Oh my god! Holy shit! How am I alive? How am I alive? Someone just shot me with a nuke. How am I alive? Who saw me? Who's shooting nukes right now? I just heard it. I knew I thought I was dead. I thought that was it. You hear that? <laughs> Once you hear that noise, man, holy crap. Where is nu Mr. Nuke? You want to do nukes, buddy? I got nukes. Go nuke, alright. You asked for it. I got the lair, where is it? The Merv. Where's my Merv? Did I just miss it? What? Those are... Oh, there it is. It's my baby. Uh -oh. Who the... Who is Swamp Folk? I have no idea who the Swamp Folk are. I really don't. All right, we gotta get this other nuke guy out of there. Where did Mr. Nuke come from? All right, just make it rain. So you get for hitting me with a nuke. I will nuke your whole place. It's 
it's World War Three right now. We're hot. Oh yeah, we are hot. <laughs> Think he died? Holy crap! Oh my god, this one's gonna hit him in the face. Shoot it. There it is. What? What what happened? I used a uh I used a special for that, I mean a uh, critical. Oh, is it because it drops? It drops too soon. I believe a sniper has found us. Oh. I hear it! Run. I still didn't get the- all these nukes I just dropped, I still didn't get them. Is it just throwing it too high? I feel like it is too high. Yeah, I'm not getting the, the range I want to get. Oh shit! That was the farthest it had ever gone. All right, we're done with this. It's this just too much. All right, I mean, I mean, we pretty much cleared out the outside, so. Oh, why does that have really? Oh, I didn't know that that had that on there. It's got a tripod in the air, like it's useless. There's no need to have a tripod. Maybe if I was prone on the ground, then it would look like it should be there, but you can't actually prone, so. All right, who's first? You, you're first. Uh, I may have detected a unusual behavior. What is being shot right now? Oh, she's shooting it. Stella has the craziest weapon. What do I have for weapons? Here we go. Holy shit, why do they have so crazy guns? Compared to me. That hurt. Kill them all. This would be easier without bolts flying at you. Wouldn't it? I was thinking the same thing, Stella. This really would be so much easier. What is that? Oh yeah, so we don't actually have to kill them all, do we? Oh, I'm about to die! I was like, why am I in slow-mo right now? Because we're gonna die. That's the other one. Oh, we don't need to kill them all. Uh. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, get out. Kiri, really? Kiri, you're gonna decrease my life expectancy. Oh my god, there's so many of them. All right, where's the next one? I need a better gun. I need a better gun. Caution. 
Here we go. Now we're ready for action. Basement. This is the way out. How are we hidden right now? Like, they don't know we're going to come right back up the elevator. Ground floor. Alright, I'm ready now. Good. Show up. Oh my god. They're coming out of the woodwork. Where's the next one? Run! What, wow, dude? There is too many of these guys. There are so many. I can't believe how many of them there really are. Just keep moving, Gary. Fuck out of my way. Place it. All right, four, four. It's done. Now we gotta get out. Oh my God, shit's going down over there. Kind of think we probably should not go out this way. They probably want us to go out the front door. Basement. Yep. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to go out this way. We want to actually see the boom, right? Can't wait to see what this actually looks like. We just put four nukes in this place. It's got to be bigger than the Merv. Alright, let's go. Run. This is not the way out. This might be. No, this is not. There it is. Right? Oh no! Where did everyone go? How am I going the wrong way? Here we go. Where's this, where's this thing? Oh, there it is. We gotta let this guy go. What did he do, right? That's it. Powering up, protect drive. All right, bye, buddy. Duty. You gotta get out. I'm telling you that why I'm leaving. What can you do for the Enclave? Alright, oh shit. Should we go backwards? Ooh, this shit's gonna be crazy. We're here! Use the remote detonator in my inventory. Where is that gonna be? Is that a weapon or? Why would it say just in your inventory? It should tell me where. I have too much shit. Remote detonator right here. Found it. Here we go. Hell yeah. 
Holy shit, that's a big explosion. Whoa, sick explosion. Whoa, slick. Nice explosion. The GNN only took damage, sadly. You really did draw their attention now. Those gunners will be in force investigating this. Best to let, best to let cool things down here. What? That's best to let things cool down here is how it should have been written. You can't do any anything more here for now. Return to Diamond City and remember, another day, another fight. You did good, Slick. Original depravity would leave this area radiated, unaccessible for RPG immersion regions. This is no longer the fact. Have fun, Martend. Oh yeah, uh, y'all should actually follow Martend. He um he he uh he makes YouTube videos now too, and he's the maker of this collection. That's sick. Look at that thing just to radiate out. If only there was a better spot though, like, it's not really that clear of a spot. This is. That looks like a good picture for a thumbnail. I'll be taking that. Look at the whole sky. The whole sky is like consumed by it. That's so sick. Oh, that doesn't look good though. Uh, I don't know what that is. All right, what's next? So that's where one pot of depravity left. So the original one, this area would be irradiated, but we can go back in there if we want. I'm sure everyone's dead. Councilman Jake, why is he way over there? It's like where the left field diner is. Councilman Jake. So that's who wanted us to do that? We did that for Diamond City? That thing looks fucking weird. With his mouth open. Alright, where's the councilman? He's in the back. Did you make that robot yourself? You must be wicked smart. Bro, I didn't make the robot. What what gave you that impression? That I built it. Have you even talked to her? Wow. Alright, buddy. I wonder how many bodies are buried in the lake here. You don't want to know. Stella. Or actually, maybe you do. Stella probably does ask, Where is this guy going? I thought he was back here. This guy's running around right now. They say the old Boston Commons got some crazy bird living in it. Or something. The old Boston Commons? Oh, no, it's a swan. There he is. My man. Hey there. I heard the good news. The building didn't quite level. But hey, close enough for government work. I think they got the message. Did you run into any trouble? Did I run into any trouble? I mean... Well, that's a few gunners that won't be attacking our settlements anytime soon. Wish I'd been there to see it myself. Thank you again for everything. I've got one more favor to ask, though. And before you say anything, let me explain. I talked things over with the Diamond City Council. Seemed everyone's a bit nervous that we have no acting mayor at a stressful time like this. It's gonna take us a while to run a proper election. And well, we need someone tough to take over the role in the meantime. Most folks on the council are mightily impressed with how you handled McDonough, the Diamond City Raid, and the Gunners Plaza. So if you're interested, we'd like to offer you the job of interim mayor. Fuck yeah, I am in. Yeah, and I better be getting paid, though. I assume this is a paying job. The job itself pays pretty well. But most of the real money, it's made after you leave office. You know, giving speeches, writing books and such. <laughs> Heck, you don't even have to write the books if you don't want to. Just put your name on the cover. Easiest caps you'll ever make. Hell yeah. 
Uh, it's pretty much like real politics, right? Let's do this. What exactly do I have to do? Well, the council and the sheriff's department handle most of the day-to-day -day work for civilian and military, respectively. You'll have to make policy decisions here and there, but mainly, the people just need to feel secure, like they've got someone strong and capable in charge. You think you can handle that? Absolutely. I'm in. Well then, let me be the first to congratulate you. As acting mayor, I'm giving you the key to the Diamond City Strong Room. It's where we hold our council meetings and keep some of the city's valuables. That's good to know. Now your first job as mayor. Oh, I'm totally going to in that strong box. For the Latimer and the Cogman families. Second issue is to address our immigration policy. Given recent events, we need all the allies we can get. So what it's the hell time is that to noise? visit our stance on ghouls. There's more details on the terminal in the strong room. So welcome aboard, Mayor. And if you ever need anything, you just let me know. Hell yeah. We just got the strong room key and then we gotta we're gonna make a decision. I'm down to make that decision. This is not the way. There it is. Things are finally looking up around here. Change we can believe in. <laughs> yes it is. Well too bad. One only. Find your own. Oh, I've been waiting to get in the strong room. It's like, you need the key, you need the key, you need the key. So many different times. I tried to break into it with Bobby No-Nos. Then that was a lie. Now we're finally getting to go into it. We didn't even have to break into it. They gave us the key. Hell yeah, we're going in. Is it, I wonder what's going to be in here. Is this going to be like a little private like vault? I don't know. It's kind of like home plate. A little bigger though. Okay, we can make a machine. Yes. Alright. I actually want to make a machine. We need a watchdog for this place. Should work if I just put it in this, right? Ah, yeah, we're gonna grab the new one. I wonder what you have made now. Really? Whoa, what? Hold on a second. So if I put it in the workbench, it's not, it doesn't count. Hey, what's up, MM? Or M's? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay. So clearly I gotta get all this shit back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Okay, this is, oh, okay. So I can put the same one back in there, all right. I was like, what the hell, I made him already? him into a beast sucks I only have two uh, I only have two types I didn't realize that 
Why don't I have more? Explosive minigun. Yeah, I don't know, but unstable? No. We'll do um, a shish kebab. Really? Only a Protectron right now? Really? And then... I guess we'll give him the scattered laser. Or the auto... No, it's gonna be the auto one. <laughs> Just give him a Mr. Handy Thrusters. <laughs> options. Alright, you're good to go. What's up, bro? This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Yes. Sure. That would be great. Alright, I'm taking this damn mask off. Subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? No. Um. Time to hit the road. Understood. Please, lead on. No, uh, no. Gary. Do you need something, madame? You stand with me. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. Perfect. Yeah, that's where I want you to stay, bro. It's your home. You're my protector for this place. Oh, yeah. So I took everything from there. What's in this thing, though? Shipments. Oh, so... Okay, so this is like a lot of stuff. We could have just... I should have looked first, I guess. Bottle caps. What is going on? Why can I see that? Well, like, why is that green? Oh, is it something I'm looking for? What am I looking for? Aluminum? I'm like not... I don't remember looking for something. So this is actually a work, a workable place too. Oh, nice. We got a little room in here, a little... What's this? Diamond City Management Holotape. Oh, okay, so we can actually be the mayor. That's gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's all good. Yeah, you know, eventually we'll get there. We're working on it. But thanks, I'm glad you like the you like my videos. I like my videos too. I enjoy playing it. I'm glad you guys enjoy the story. Lavery options, what the hell? Overview. This terminal allow you to make decisions. Oh, remote access, okay. So we are okay, so we already have this. New Rexford Hotel. Report back to Hancock. Decide the immigration policy. Allow non-fellow ghouls into Diamond City. Yes, ghouls are now allowed. I'm not. I'm not against the ghouls. Let's go with uh, moderately low. Geneva been laid off? No. Yeah, you can't get rid of Geneva. How dare you? Socialist utopia? No, we're not doing that. Slavery options. Abolish.
um, enact female nudity ordinance, revoke the ordinance. Um, we're just gonna revoke. You can wear whatever the hell you want. I don't think people are gonna be walking around nude though, right? I don't know, we'll find out. Wait, whatever you want. Oh, here we go. Upper stance punishment. And Codman. Hmm. I kind of forget what these people did wrong. Were they in on it with um, the mayor? I don't know. Let's go with public humiliation. Clarence Codman. We'll kick him out. Oh, Malcolm. He should get a uh, public. And, oh, May McDonough. He's got to die. He's the only one. You can also kill him yourself without Diamond City turning hostile. I'll let the city do it. Okay. Strong room linked workbench storage. Oh, here we go. Take ownership of McDonough's bed and terminal. Done. And what about these side quests? Help Travis become more confident. Okay, so these are just all the regular. Help Nick. Um, Paul Pembroke. Abbott. What are these get bounties? Miscellaneous. Dr. Duff. The water treatment plant. Oh, so these are just all like the little the little side quests that are like not real quests. Alright, perfect. So we got her done. Hell yeah, there's my salary. 900 bucks. That better be a week. What else we got? Ooh, we got a Gatling laser. We got some a lot of gold, a lot of silver. Uh, some DC outfit. It's in the back up there. Oh, giddy up buttercup. What the hell is that doing there? Bottle caps. I always take those. I don't really need this shit. this oh this is what oh we can make ammo in here hell yeah that's awesome so I can just what what can I can I put stuff in here and it'll give me stuff I don't know I'll have to look into that if anyone knows what to do with that let me know in the comments but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. Is this really where the mayor slept? No, the mayor slept upstairs, didn't he? Okay, how do we leave? There's a door somewhere. Uh, or is this it? What's this? That's the way out? What? So there's a back entrance to this place the whole time? Oh shit! Don't touch! Why is it even there? <laughs> Why is it there? <laughs> I don't get it. I touched it. I touched the fuse box. Like, what happened? I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully the... Imagine, like, everyone just tries to kill me now because I flipped the fuse. That he's now on crazy mode. Oh, it might it might be right. Security! Have it sure. Security! We need security out here. I'm going. coming. For now. Hey, Geneva, you're back. Hey, Geneva. Cat got your tongue. What the hell are you talking about? I'm your boss. Are you holding up okay? Yes. I know everyone liked to gossip about me and McDonough having a 
close, personal relationship. But the truth is, we didn't. He was as much a mystery to me as anyone, but I sure don't miss his temper. Did he really have a temp with you, though? I mean, he was a synth. I'm interested in running a job. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Anything else need doing? Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just Okay. I'm good for now. Thanks. Much as I like staring into a lovely pair of eyes, I'm a bit busy. Um... Chin up, losers. Do you mean these oh. eyes? What? Uh, I don't know if she's being serious. Like, what? Are you trying to say they creep you out? Like, what are you trying to say? What is that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. So where do we need to go next? So we. Oh, actually, let's go. Uh, let's go check on the prisoners. Make sure everyone. Hey, Goodman. What's up? Welcome. Welcome back. How you been? All right. So we're gonna make. Yeah, I want to check in and see. See if these people are really being punished right now. Oh my god, who's that? Everyone needs a haircut. Step up. You crush some mentax in with your coffee in the morning. Is that oh that's what's the name? Anne language centers in your brain. Lower Anne's being object she's being publicly humiliated for a little while. That's what you get for siding with the mayor. Who's the other one? So the mayor died, huh? I thought they said I could kill him. Oh, so that's how, that's what the the shooting was about when I came out. They were killing the mayor. That's what that noise was. Oh, another physician. Tell me, where did you go to university? University? Nice pet boy. Right? Come on, mayor. I got a better spot for you. Put you right by the door, so everyone knows. Can I get him up there? Yeah, stay, stay. All right, perfect. No, not yet. Almost perfect. Who's really in control of Diamond City? Read the public. Oh, oh, turn around. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Whatever, I mean, he's headless anyways, right? There we go. Now he's kind of like a headless homeless guy taking a nap. <laughs> uh, I've been good. I've been great. Got work tomorrow. That's about it. Okay, so report back to Hancock. Return to Lacey. Uh, no, we're not gonna. Oh, we actually have to do that too. So I guess we'll do that. I mean, they're both in the same place. So, oh no, we still have to do that other mission too, don't we? Yeah. So, uh, all right. I guess now might be the time to do all those. Yeah. We'll head back to Good Neighbor. We got like three missions to do there. Got one of the main quests to do with um, Nick Valentine. I don't because I don't know if we can do the Curie one while we're in the middle of Nick's. So we might have to finish the Nick one, like in the memories. I think that's the where we're at with Nick, Mr. Valentine. Oh, Hancock's here, and so is Murph. <clears throat> well, look who's back. Didn't think I'd ever see the day. You did damn good. In the future, never doubt me. What can I do for you? My town is your town. I think I deserve a real reward. 
Something I can actually use. Look, I uh, needed to mention. Hold up a sec there, Hancock. Let me give our friend the good news. So we were thinking, with Morowski out of the way, how'd you like to take ownership of the Hotel Rexford? So I'm now the... I'm going to take ownership? Uh, what, yeah, what do I got to do? What exactly do I have to do? As owner, you can do whatever you want with the place. Turn it into a strip club, a monastery, sky's the limit. Well, maybe not a monastery. Just make sure you give Hancock a cut of the profit, and it's all good. Uh, honestly, Goodman, I don't, I'm not really sure how far I am into it. I haven't done it before, so... I'm not, I'm not sure how much is left. But I finished the Diamond City part. I finished that. I think I just finished Good Neighbor right now. Which is why it's turning into me running the Hotel Rexford. I'm not sure what we do next. Oh, I still gotta kill all the gang members. So I can, oh, the drug dealers actually, but they're all the raider gang leaders. Are there any caps involved in your proposition? You ever run across a casino that wasn't profitable? Oh yeah. Did I mention we added a casino? And a day spa, too. Absolutely. I'm in. All right, then. Head over there when you're ready. We made some improvements. Pendleton can fill you in on the details. What can I say? I like the way you operate. Just consider this town your home away from home. I'm gonna head back to Fallon's for now. But if you ever want company for the road, you just let me know. Okay, so we did that. Murphy's now available to be my companion. Really? Alright, let's go check out the Rexford first. The new? Oh, did they fix anything on the outside? No, still all broken windows. Still looks the same. Look how broken and shitty that building is. How is it not a leaky, like, nasty? I, I never understood that. Like, I wish you could see the top side of it. But yeah, I'm not really sure how far I am. Uh, it seems like I'm getting to the end of it, which if that's the case, that means that we're going to be moving on to Diary of a Madman next. Well, hello, Pendleton. Oh, wonderful. You're back. Welcome to the new Rexford Hotel and Casino. Uh, yeah, what's the difference? What's the difference? You didn't notice the overwhelming stench of glamour? Take a good look and drink it all in. If I can be of any further assistance, please do let me know. I remain your obedient servant. Good to know. I'll be going. Check out. Oh. These are new. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is an upgrade. I like the doors. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. I don't like these doors. They should stay open. Is this my room? Hotel Rexford. Oh, look at this. Diamond City Management Options. How to build in New Rexford Hotel. <laughs> the old... Claire Hutchins is no longer with us. Ellie has been placed in charge of the front desk. And Kelly runs the day spa downstairs. The old janitor has been fired for pretending to sweep the floor. Custodial duties have been reassigned to Fred Allen and Rufus Rubin. The hotel and casino has been opened up to members of all factions of the Commonwealth, some of whom may visit occasionally. Cool. Okay, you can build stuff and scrap anywhere in the day stuff, anywhere there, but not in the casino. Okay. Cool. Doesn't get much better than this. It really does, not it's nice. It sounds like Stella really likes the place. And this is the basement, right? 
See what they do. Oh my god, look what they did with the basement. This is all new. The day spa. What's this? The financial district? Oh, so this is a way out? Chemistry station. Explore the casino. But the casino is over here. Why does it say the financial district then? It's the casino. Is it an, a basement outdoor casino? Like, well, I don't know what kind of casino it is. Oh, hell yeah. M, M's, thank you uh, for the subscription. Or thank you for subscribing. We just recently passed 100. This is the way. This does not look like a casino that I've ever seen. Um, I'm gonna say this isn't the casino. What does that elevator bring you to though? Yeah, it says the casino's this way. So that is like a little creep way out. Little back door in, okay. It's gotta be in here, the day spa. I like it here. I do too. We got the bar. What's up, Kelly? Hi. Hi there. What can I help you with? Why are you in a robe? Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Sure, I'd be happy to. I assume my sister Ellie already gave you an overview of everything upstairs. Down here, we've got a bar, maintenance workshop, and a massage parlor to your left. The clinic and barbershop are to your right. And downstairs is the pool area. I might be interested in buying or selling. I'm sure I've got something you need. Let's see what we got. She sells mostly food. I'm good for now. Thanks. My pleasure. Okay, so he's at the bar. Who's this? Excuse me. What, you need something to take the edge off? No. Where is this damn casino? That's what I want to know. Is it in a different area? What is this? Does this fix you? Hey, what happened to the person? Is it you? Luther. Hey, Pendleton. Hello. Oh, well, he's unresponsive. I guess he doesn't want to talk. All right, we're out of here. Because there's, that's like a little, ooh, what's down there? Is this the pool? It is. No. What is going on right now? Why is this a naked pool? Like, do we not have swimming clothes? Oh, got a sauna too. Nice. Sorry, I don't want mine to get, uh... When I imagine the world outside the vault, this is what I was hoping for. Is it, Kiri? Good to know. You were hoping it would be all bars and Careful spas? Okay, 
Okay, so I still haven't found the hotel. I mean the uh, casino, but that must be hey. upstairs. What? There's a door here now? Is this a strip club? What is this? Upstairs. This place is a lot different. Can I can I actually get this one? What do y'all think? Probably not. Oh my god, they gave it. I'm actually gonna get it. The infinity pie, my dreams have come true. Give it here. Yep, drop it in. No! What are we doing? What the hell? They didn't give it to me. That is not cool. How am I not... What the hell is going on here? They didn't give me my pie? Perfectly preserved pie. I don't have it, do I? Oh my god. Like, does that even make sense? They didn't give it to me. I saw it go in. It has the door. It didn't give it to me. Wow, I jinxed it. I can't believe it. Like, that's not even cool. I wanted that thing so bad. Nuka Fruity. I'll take that. Vim Refresh. Okay, so the casino is... Can I actually gamble? Fred. Whoa, it's you. Didn't I just see you? I got whiplash. Yeah, oh, dude, man. I'm the owner. You should definitely try this stuff. Gonna pass. I'm always here if you need me. <clears throat> Hello there. Would you like to play a round of Rex for Droulette? Hell yeah, I'm game. Okay, let's do this. Which color would you like to choose? Um. It's a big decision. It's pretty simple. Black or white. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. It's a big decision. Okay. I hope I made the right decision. Next, pick a lucky number. I meant to do red. Um, pick a lucky number, eight. Eight. And how many caps do you want to gamble? Um, how about 165? 165. Spinning the wheel now. Just a few moments. And here we are. Congratulations, you've won 165 what? caps, and your number was a winner. As per the rules, I will now remove an article of clothing. Would you like to have another turn? What the hell? Uh, sure. Absolutely. I'm in. Pick a color, black or white. Here you go. And what number would you like to choose? How about two? What size bet are you thinking? How about 500 caps? Let's give this wheel a good spin. Think I'm gonna win again? Is it rigged? Just a few moments until it comes to a rest. And it's done. I'm so sorry, but you've lost. Would you like to play again? She hooked me in. She tried to hook me in by... Oh, that's funny. Sorry, never mind. I'll come back later. I understand. What about craps? Can we play craps? What's this? The prize mechanics terminal. What's that? Oh, okay. Gamble 100. I lost 100. What is that thing? EA non-gambling system? Oops. 
Can I lose? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. I just got an experimental Merv. So I did win. Red's just chilling up here. He's hooked. I am so... Alright, we're out. We're out of the Rexford. Time to go hook up Kiri and uh, talk to Nick. I actually like the quests. Like, I was... When I played Fallout 4 for the first time, doing this quest that we're about to do with Nick Valentine, like, going into his memory and stuff, I was, like, blown away by that. I was like, what is this? It's a whole different, like... Like, I don't know. It was very impressive to me when I first saw it. Not that it's, like, really that crazy or, like, nuts, but just the concept of it was pretty cool. Like, you go into someone else's mind. And you can, like, run through it like a story. Dang it. <coughs> Sorry. My vape thing just died. Alright, we're headed downstairs to talk to Dr. Mari. I don't like... I gotta take that off. What does it say that I'm looking for? Hey, yeah, take it easy. See you later, Goodman. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we're headed down to see Dr. Amari. Um, I think we're actually supposed to get in here, aren't we? I guess we'll do this one first. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. I mean, how could they be stable? It's literally like me? a tiny piece of his brain. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, 
was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. This doesn't. And seem she protected to be me from Dad. There appears that cost to be her more than a few beatings. Memory close to you I never knew what happened to her sickness. after I left. There. I didn't want to know. Try that one. Not then. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this is a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know. No, you promised, all right. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Yeah, he once had a family. That's kind of sad about Kellogg, you know? I already killed him, though. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. The, Kellogg has a sad story in the beginning. He lived by the gun though, right? Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. We're definitely getting closer. It's getting recruited for missions. But from who? Are they since? I don't think they had Gen 3 back then, right? Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. Want to grab a drink? If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. 
Very well. B-748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm, impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Suited me just fine. We do, as you can see. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Yeah, ain't that the truth? This is where the good stuff happens. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Tommy. This is the this one. one. Here. Open it. It's weird that he's like not awake. <clears throat> is it over? Almost. Everything's gonna Are be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, Bravey. No. I got him! Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you son! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Is that your son? This wasn't my to idea to settle memory. down with the kid so, in the middle of Diamond City. News, I think. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. 
This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Damn straight. That's how father works. You don't play around. It's kind of creepy that he made copies of himself, though. If you think about it. Anything else? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hope. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Still. Okay. It's all over, but the cry. And I can't get over. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. It's all over. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. To forget about how much I care for you. The big reveal. They have teleportation. All right, now that we got that out of the way, now we can see if we can get Carrie fixed up. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Yes. I have this burning feeling inside my skull. It's like it's on fire. That's not surprising. All the synapses in your brain have just been pulled apart, connected to someone else, and then pulled back together. I injected you with a large stim pack while I was pulling you out. That should ease things. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? I don't know. Do you have a doll? Show you where it hurt me? I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was. However cruel. How does that make you feel? Just fine. It's convinced me I did the right thing. He was a rabid dog. And he needed to be put down. I suppose 
I can't fault you for that. We're getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? <clears throat> well, isn't it obvious? We stale their teleporter. I mean, don't look at me, Doctor. This stuff's beyond me. Don't look at me, Doctor. This stuff is beyond me. Um, let me think. What about that memory involving Virgil, the rogue Institute scientist? If he were alive, we have a common enemy. He might help us. There's gotta be another way. I don't know. I'm not even sure we could track him down. The memory gave us a starting point, the glowing sea. But that can't be right. Trying to survive there is unthinkable. Not for him. Not for Virgil. It's not, because he's a friggin' super mutant. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. You know, it's how desperate are you to get away from the Institute. That's the real thing. That's why he's there. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. <laughs> oh no, I'm not going there. That's crazy. Oh, I'm going in naked. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I <laughs> unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Perfect. That's exactly where I want him to be. So now, Dr. Amari, me and you need to talk. Doctor, my friend here needs your help. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Greetings, Doctor. I wish to download my data and co-program it into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Doesn't she look serious? She has all three of her eyes on you. That's her serious face. Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Well, it's already somewhere between the two. Perfect. You're not suggesting I... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. Allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before. Giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. So you're willing to perform the operation? My patient knew the risks and opted for memory replacement. She wanted a new life. I failed her. But this, 
this procedure may be as close as I can get to fulfilling her wishes, but I cannot make this decision. Her caretaker can. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They are understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. Okay, so now we just gotta wait a day. That's pretty simple. 25 hours. Uh, actually, let's go like right here. Seven in the morning, sounds about right. April 2288. Well, hello. Are you the synth? Or are you the synth? That's a caretaker, isn't it? Glory. So you're the one that wants to put a robot brain in G519? She's one of my people. A friend. How did she just I get in there? I promised to protect them. Glory? She wanted new memories. She knew her personality would be all but erased. But these are just different memories. Perhaps better ones. I don't know. Maybe I should just let her go. Her sacrifice will give someone else the gift of life. I... I think she'd like that. Fine. Do it. Do it now, before I change my mind. Curie? Let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. I should see operation. this through. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. We can watch Curie die. I have Curie access die. to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... My chest... What is happening? <laughs> my Just chest... Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Barrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, <laughs> my insights feel peculiar. What is that? Oh, what a way for someone to go. Curie, you must... Just kills over before he finishes that sentence. And you're going to live forever, never knowing what he wanted you to do. She sounds good, Doc. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor, for this opportunity. You're only the doctor? You should be thanking me, all right? I made this all happen. We must find the men of science and hey. institutes of learning. Remember, to breathe. I keep thinking if I forget to do this, no more curry. And suddenly, all this excitement we do, there is an element of something new. What if my arm is blown off? It is not so simple to repair this now. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. You're a synth. We'll just bring you to the synth replacement thing. I'm sure they have it. Here's some advice. Keep your limbs attached from now on. <laughs> I will do so. That was strange. I laughed. I... I will be fine. It is coming to me. Quickly, I hope. Just bear with me. 
I am sure my research will blossom with this magnificent new hardware. I mean, yeah, you just literally went from like a shitty laptop to like the best gaming computer ever. So, you're welcome. All right, all right, we wrapped that up pretty quick, honestly. I didn't think that was gonna wrap up that quick. Let's go talk to Nick, he's waiting upstairs for us. Nicky! Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You wanna try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Wait, were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Yeah, Nick. See you around. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. That I do. Back at Diamond City. Can't believe we we couldn't save him. I tried to save him so much. And he ended up he died like four times in a row. Alright, Stella, what are you up to? Hey sweetie. Hi. Um hey, got a sec. Everything alright? Yeah, everything's fine. What are you thinking about? How do you pee in a vault suit? There's a hidden zipper. What are you thinking about? You really seem to know who you are. I admire that. Say what's on your mind. I hear real beauty is on the inside. But that's just something ugly people say. <laughs> you might be right, so Why am I looking for something? Do we, do we, uh, am I actually looking for something? I am. How do I stop that? Um... Okay, I think we got rid of it. All right. Yep. All right. I just didn't want that little green thing to be hovering over it. Like I'm not looking for anything. That's a great feature if you're actually looking for something. But I'm not looking for anything, so I don't need it. <clears throat> the real question is, what are we gonna do next? Because I'm not sure if I wrapped up Depravity yet. Seems like I'm getting pretty close to the end of it, though. Alright, what are we even gonna do? Mr. Sam? I don't even know how many I got left. I'm basically done. I gotta, like, hunt him down. Scrapper. Get just the last final ones. I think that's all of them. Right? Yeah, I don't see any. Right there. Okay, we have them all. All right, so now what are we gonna do? The glowing sea, no. Oh, we gotta return to Lacey. I mean, we could do that, but I don't think we really need to. Oh yeah, we gotta do that too while we're here. Let's go record uh, Magnolia. 
Friggin' father. I don't know what father's doing here. I really don't. He's just been chilling here for like the past... I don't know, a few days. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal. That's good. How are we gonna record her though? Drunk. Oh, what did it say with JR's blank holotape? Okay. So we have a holotape. I don't know if this is the song. I messed up with, with Magnolia. Took a walk out in the fence. Had to talk with a man about some cans. He asked me what she flavor. I said I need a favor. I'm a little short of caps, but I'm a good, good neighbor. We did it. All right, so that was it. Mm, nice. Always a good time and good neighbor, <laughs> isn't it? Hell yeah. I hope you're having one. 
Goodbye, Magnolia. She's awesome. But look at this. Watch this. Somehow we messed up. I have like 100% charisma and watch this. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before this? Oh, hold on. Any way I could steal you away for the evening? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. Why? There's something else I can help you with. See, Magnolia just doesn't like me. That was the last thing I asked her, too. I asked her everything else first. To be a gentleman. But, didn't work out. Or a gentle girl? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a girl. Maybe she only goes with dudes. I'm not really sure how this works in this game. I know I romanced her before, so I was surprised when she said no the second time. I was like, what? Even though I have level 10 charisma and the lady killer perk. Oh, no, I have the other one, actually. Hey, Gary. Hey, may I be of assistance? <clears throat> what is it? Your thoughts? If I may be of assistance, you have but to ask. Oh, don't you worry, I will definitely be asking. Your thoughts? Please. Let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. No problem. Scan this guy. Hey. You need something, yes? Go check that out. I have fainted, which prevent me from doing this. You said you wanted to scan people. What do you mean? You literally just told me you wanted to do that. Okay. All right, Carrie. Return to Lacey. We got the butter up. We got the buttercup. Giddy up, buttercup. <laughs> I said we got the butter up. Completion of the bleachers has unlocked many of the items you see in the mod. Every issue of La Coffee you collect has a new, unique hairstyle. Available at any barber. Going out chatting. The house won't lock. Oh, oh, why am I inside this thing? Oh, is it broken? What the hell? Why did it say repair that? Was it, was it broke? Anything else broken here? Maybe it's because I ended up inside of it. I don't know. It was Lacey. The girl I ran into on the road. Here you go. Good. Need it back. Consider it my deposit for you. And no need to hide it away. It'd make a good decoration for the settlement. Like I said, your best bet for your bottom line is to let me set up my shop. But I'll do whatever needs doing. Where do you need me? So that was it. She oh, she just wanted me to be one of her wanted to work for me, but she wanted me to get something for my Okay. I'm gonna send you Where am I going to send you? I'm going to send you to the hotel. No. I'm going to send you to Hangman's Alley. Alright, she said it'd make a good decoration, so we might as well put it out here somewhere. Do I have a Giddy Up Buttercup? I think I have it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think I have it anymore. Okay. Head back to Frenchy. Frenchy was another one that we found running around. I wonder if this is going to be another one of uh, some settlements, like finding people to be in the settlements. It was kind of random. I found him and I found that girl, Lacey. And Lacey's quest ended up being she wanted to be one of my settlers. Maybe that's what he wants too. Who knows? We're going to find out. Or is he already a settler? I mean, he's already in the slog. Oh, okay. Hi. Thank you kindly, stranger. This holo tape means the world to me. And if you don't mind, I think I'll stick around here. Maybe sing a song at night. Might as well keep you here. Oh, Bottle caps are so inconvenient. Laid back ninja. So he was voiced by Gabriel Wayne. Yes. More than words. Okay, that's cool. All right, we got some people to take out, I guess. That'll probably be how we'll finish this uh, episode. And then we'll head back to Fallon, see what's next on the agenda. Stella's staying with us for some reason, too. Like, I gotta see what Stella wants. Because Stella's obviously with us for a reason, because... It never asked if Stella wants to leave the party, like when someone else tries to come along. Why is Stella with us? So Stella's with us, but I don't know. Maybe I just brought her in as a companion. I guess. Hey, pal. Hey. Hey. even out here. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shadows. You're probably right. Yeah. I don't 
and start talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lay off that damn jet. Now don't stop talking crazy. It's one of my favorite uh, Raider lines. That and the guy and the story with the guy that started making friggin' grenade noises. Ping, ping. <laughs> and then act like he had a Tommy gun. That guy's the man. Is a dreadnought. You killed him. I always feel bad killing these attack dogs. They always look so grim and nasty. You should wash your hands after that. It can be unsanitary to handle the disease. What was that one called? Afternoon snack? That guy just lost his friggin' head. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be blocked off. Where'd that little bitch go? Time to is he dead? No, how do we get to him? Oh, this way. Okay. I don't know why I thought he was dead. God damn it. 
got blood on it. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to get blood on you. But things just happen sometimes. Sorry. All right. I think we're almost on his level. This guy is in like a little hidden, hidden area. Surprise! Chancer, that's the guy's name. That's a raider's chess piece. Oh, he's too heavy. Ah, I have heard of this. This is a speaking beast. Something like that. I was gonna say how do you get in there, but I found it. Surely we can leave that behind. Was that chalk? Here we go. What? Let's do this. I have survived the hostility. Oh. 
unknown. I think we got it. It's time to clear out the shamrock. How is there no one in here? No one else has even noticed. It's gonna be the easiest one out of all of them. I'm not complaining, I'll take them easy. I'll take that easy one. Sure. The hell's going on here? What are they playing? So, you hear for me? That's right. I'm here to rescue you. Finally! I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Let's go. This is gonna be fun! Oh, ah! You come in one because of that. I'll find you! Just looking to trade a little. I'm like, let me out. What is it? I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. Are you all right? I just don't know. Becoming a synth is so much harder than I ever imagined. At first, it was a struggle just to master basic functioning, how to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings, how do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? What sort of feelings? I don't know. I think anger, fear, happiness, but I'm not sure. They're so new. I prioritize and tackle what's most important at the time. That's... That's helpful. You make it look so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. 
I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure. But you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. Perfect. What do you think a friend is? Someone that brings you joy. Good feelings when they're about. Someone you desire to help and make happy. Someone you respect. It is hard to say my feelings about you. You are just a friend, yes? So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel... Very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. <laughs> I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. I think Kiri just blushed for the first time. the hell is the guy up here? How do you even get up there? Here we go. Bingo. Let's get in there. Right here. Here we go. How do we get upstairs then? Okay, what the 
könnte es auch Quiet Sturden. Yes? Alright, we're gonna save it here. And we'll get the rest on the next stream. We're at two and a half hours. And I'm gonna be up for work tomorrow. So this is where we're gonna wrap it up. Hey everyone. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, thank you all for the new subscribers. Mr. M&M's. Or Mr. I don't know if it's a Mr. But m and m and ms Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thanks for coming by, Goodman. Um, also, Moonwolf Hunter. Moonwolf, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate y'all. Uh, yeah, and I'll catch y'all guys on Wednesday. Guys and gals, I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a nice... I'll see y'all later. Take care, everyone.